I want to talk to you guys about something that's really engaged me the last few weeks, and that is the new 7.8 inch panoramic ski doo gauge. And it's pretty exciting stuff to come out of the BRP camp. Yeah, you guys all know that I rarely go anywhere without running my map app and having my cell phone mounted to the dash of my sled. And Skidoo's taken that one step further. They've integrated a complete user experience right on the dash of the new 2021 snowmobiles. I'm glad to see Skidoo's stepped up the game and to get back into that technology arena. And it makes it one complete package. This is actually an extension of, you know, everything they've been doing lately, from the Rev Gen 4 chassis to the oxygen helmet that I'm wearing right now with the actual noise control system in it that's actually already integrated out of the box to actually accept Bluetooth headsets. That's going to communicate with this new dash perfectly. One thing I like about Skidoo is they always are raising the bar when it comes to snowmobiling. I mean, you take it right back to 2003 to the uh, first rider forward, the Rev chassis. Totally changed the face of snowmobiling as we know it today. New suspension designs, ergonomics, it's all built around the rider experience. This is a major leap forward in Skidoo technology that's going to put them back on the map. Polaris is up the ante. They've been using ride command technology for the last, I don't know how many years. I've been using it on my sled and it's a great app. It works well and it looks like that's the direction that Skidoo is going with this thing. There's not a whole lot of information on the 7.8 inch panoramic Skidoo gauge. This is a thousand dollar accessory on your spring order right now. Let me share what I found out about this so far. This new 7.8 inch screen is awesome. It's brighter, it's got well designed graphics, and one of two screens is customizable. <laughs> yeah, I said it, two screens. Spoiler alert, this isn't one big screen gauge, it's actually two smaller screens side by side, but they're really well designed to function as one unit, whether it's a vehicle information display or separately. It fits the ergonomics of the Gen 4 quite well. It's a larger gauge than previous. They actually improve the viewing angle on it, which makes it easy to read for all riders, whether you're sitting, standing, or various height riders. It also has a special anti-glare screen for daytime riding, and it even has adjustable modes, daytime, nighttime, or an automatic screen brightness mode that'll actually take the ambient light that the vehicle is in and adjust the screen accordingly. It's pretty smart. There's two viewing modes. There's the standard view that shows your vehicle information on both screens and then you've got the BRP Connect view where the right screen displays information of the connected Bluetooth smartphone device that the rider can actually customize. So the left screen is always vehicle specific data. You have speed, fuel level, engine and air temperature, the right screen, you can display vehicle information such as RPM, trip statistics, gauge setup, and even run fault codes now right from your dash. There's going to be a few smartphone apps coming out for this that you can run in what they call the BRP Connect mode. Think of BRP Connect like Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay. It's the same thing. So what you do is you, you initially sync your Bluetooth device to the ski with the engine running. Once you've actually connected your device to the snowmobile by Bluetooth, is use your phone's charging cable, and there's a little port in this glove box that you plug it in to a USB connector in there. Then there's an actual little storage bag in this heated compartment that, uh, that you can put your phone in, zip it up, and it's, it's in there. You don't need to touch your phone from here on out. Actually, when it's plugged in and to the vehicle, you cannot access the screen. It's actually locked down. It's nice and warm, it's protected, and it's connected. It's pretty cool technology. And then through this app, you can actually customize the order the apps are displayed in. You can move them around, and then you can also download new apps as other users create them. So that you can run your music playlists, maps, weather apps, anything like that. This is not a touch screen gauge. It's actually very user friendly with gloves on. It's basically an intuitive joystick that allows you to scroll up, down, left, right on any menu and pressing the joystick down is like enter or select. Remember the mode set button that was on your handlebar? 
Well, now that is a mobile device button. It allows you to place a call, hang up the call, or even adjust the call volume or the audio volume if you're running music on your, on your headset. There's actually tons of customization. You can change display settings to your preference. You can change miles to kilometers or any language preference. It's pure genius. You can also connect a Bluetooth communicator like the Uclear devices we use and control them right from your handlebars. Let's have a look at this gauge and I'll show you some of the features on it. So at the top there you've got the engine temperature and then just to the left of that we see the fuel gauge. In the bottom here there's a funny symbol that's your trip A, trip B or odometer. And then you've got the outside temperature displayed just above that. And then the little uh, RPM, digital RPM mode there uh, is displayed for when you are using the right screen as your apps. Then you have the, uh, the speedometer, which is digital, but then you also see this little graphic, which is almost like an analog speedometer. You don't see any increments on there, so it's mainly just a, an attractive graphic more than anything else. We've got the clock, which you can run 12 or 24 hour. We have the tachometer, which is digital on the right hand screen. And you also see there's a little analog graphic, which shows it uh, there at a glance. I think that would be kind of handy. Below the tachometer, you see there's a little battery level of the phone that's connected and how it's connected. So it shows a Bluetooth or cellular strength symbol would be shown there when your phone is connected to the dash. To the right of that is where you access your display settings. You have access to all your apps, music, maps through BRP Connect. The new map system, you can use the Rever app or the new Skidoo Go map when it comes out. Now that looks really cool. It looks like it's going to be like Ride Command where it's gonna allow you to track your ride. It also allow you to show other riders do a group ride on the map download offline maps so you don't need a, a cellular connection to run the GPS and the BRP demos that I've watched indicate that we'll have turn by turn directions as well but we'll see about that one. Because it's a smartphone app I can actually run ski Do go from my iPhone on this dash mount phone holder that I rigged up and if you have one of the original Rev Gen 4s you can rig up a mount like mine or you can buy a glove box extension with this new door accessory that ski -Doo is launching this fall that actually has an integrated phone holder on it. I think it would be a handy thing just for connecting the rider to the experience. And I think that's what BRP is really done here with this gauge. They're actually taking the rider experience and elevating it to that next level. I, I'm really happy with this new 7.8 inch panoramic gauge. Can't wait to see it on the trails.